The International Red Cross has confirmed the death of one of its employees in Donetsk. He died as artillery shells hit the organization's office in the city center. Both sides deny they were behind the shelling. Meanwhile, anti-government forces claim they've seized control of the city's airport. They say it was being used by the army to stage attacks on residential areas. Now, there's supposed to be a truce in place in eastern Ukraine, but it has been repeatedly breached. At least a dozen civilians were killed when a bus stop and a school were hit during some of the latest shelling. And as Maria Fanoshna reports, local residents have learned to expect the worst. You may find some of the images in her report disturbing. The morgue is the first place that people in eastern Ukraine go to check when their relatives or friends go missing. Not a hospital or police. They have come to expect bad news after five months of conflict. This is where we meet 70-year-old Luba. She came here looking for her husband. Polygraficzka street is in the Kievsky district of Donetsk, where on Wednesday a bus and a bus station were hit by a shell. Another one didn't explode, but the first was enough to kill at least six people. Luba was telling me that she doesn't want to believe that her husband was among them when she was invited inside, and the news came. <laughs> the morgue worker gives her a sedative. Minutes later, she asks us to help call her daughter to let her know. <laughs> Seventy-six-year-old Nikolai was among 13 civilians brought to the morgue following shelling in the residential area of Donetsk, increasing the overall death toll to more than 1,400 in the region. Dmitry, the head of Donetsk's main morgue, fears that this number will continue to rise. On our way back from morgue, we see black smoke coming from where the city's airport is. Shelling has been continuing for many days already, but we've seen serious escalation in the last 24 hours. Later, we hear that several apartment buildings were again hit in the city centre. At least one person, a European Red Cross employee, has been confirmed dead. It seems that the locals' fears are coming true. Well, as you can see, Maria is there in the epicenter of events. You can follow her Twitter feed for the latest from Donetsk, including photographs and personal accounts.